brought from the United States or America for no less than 30 years to Europe, 11 and a half, which 11 and a half was straight from Miami, Florida, uh, between 1995 and all the way to mid 2006, August of 2006. Uh, also here to Europe, to Slovenia, to my native town of Novo Mesto. In fact, you should see me in this period, in this 11 and a half years period, anywhere on globe, anywhere in the world, anywhere. With exception to Ecuador, which I visited twice, uh, with my wife. That's all there was. Within 11 and a half years, I have never returned even for a visit to Slovenia, which I departed at the end of the 1994 uh, for work, for overseas work at the cruise line, celebrity cruise line, uh, abroad, abroad, uh, aboard Meridian ship. In this video, I am going to concentrate on more MK Ultra proofs and what's very, very important uh, for me because I am establishing a case uh, which I'm going to use a little bit beyond just proving that I was forced to be unemployed. Uh, also to the issues concerning Poland, uh, it goes like beyond insane stuff. Yeah, it's very important to me, very, very important for me, because the Western elites, anywhere from the U.S. government to Buckingham Palace, London, Berlin, did block me uh, any form of people's contribution I would otherwise obtain. Uh, no such thing like donation, anything like this would function on my website. For that same matter, they have incapacitated also ability for me to sell over the internet, which they did manage to somehow blackmail to the extent uh, that I would even complete the store, online store, through the forced unemployment. Actually, the 26 years of unemployment, blacklisting, uh, throw me out of the U.S. with a steady, gradual, systematic uh, dates of increasing unemployment until they finally completely blocked me, told me to get lost. We don't want you in America anymore. And all the stuff audio recorded um, and traced me back home to the European continent. Uh, not only here to Novo Mesto, but to Poland, and so on and so forth, everywhere, wherever they anticipate I would go and file for political asylum, uh, try to find my new life, uh, establish my new life on behalf of Vladimir Putin, a Russian president on behalf of the Serbian uh, Vucic and Slovenian. I don't know whether you want to what I would this these are beasts these are not even the traitors <laughs> uh, these people have gone beyond Holodomor if you know something about the Holodomor read about uh, they dreamed about building a new Yugoslavia through a very exclusive MKUltra case financing money uh, stolen money from Slovenian taxpayers whom they have robbed here over the years uh, by killing people in Slovenia, subjecting a mass uh, Slovenian people to assassinations, and finally to obtain some more cash up so they could start uh, Yugoslavia, I guess, number two, something like this. Uh, never mind, even under Chetnik flag, that would be okay, as Vucic stated. It doesn't matter as long as we are together. Uh, so, in this case, they got support from very significant people and those people involved Buckingham Palace and in my view, in my views, everyone who have violated my American constitutional right 
international treaties in respect to me as a human being. This particular project uh, burdened me, believe it or not, for like seven months now. Uh, what I recorded was recorded already back in November last year, but I wouldn't get this online because mm, I learned something a little about almost every day. I uh, learned about more of unemployment. It was a phenomena in which concerning this project, Buckingham Palace straight was involved. Uh, Buckingham Palace created life, actually contributed to the life impossible for me in Poland greatly. They were the one that arranged a place for me to stay in Poland with Polacks, a uh, freezing place, a place where I would have my spine broken, a places where I would injure myself more and took credit for it, I have to say. Now the Donald Trump's soldiers which started to come to Poland to have experienced, were tested on uh, employment issues on how they should just go about their own business, open their own business and stuff like this. They brainwashed me on opening my own company in Poland. I did and almost horribly failed at. It would cost me almost everything in just a little, uh, it would have been a very, very expensive lesson. Brainwashed into a failure through the company called Venol, uh, that's an engine, motor engine uh, company, German company, who, which also manufactures in Poland. A type of scam wouldn't stop. Uh, the people who came to Poland on uh, Hunger Games to participate in Hunger Games, uh, various Hollywooders, sports people who were looking for the contracts, people who were looking for careers overseas and mostly in uh, countries which U.S. deemed, actually West deemed to be hostile. Uh, let's just say like a risky environment. Uh, the people would be exposed to risky environment, therefore they would go through this kind of stuff. Um, and people back that would come back to US, they rushed to open online business stores, uh, of which some did. Charlie Shin, I'm going to use as an example, was one of the people who resorted himself to online store ideas and so by many others that would screw the internet just as Donald Trump team tutor them to uh, basically to unite and actually purchase out as an example I'm gonna give you my own blog that too took me enormous amount of time and frustrations because the sliders that kind of stuff where I was trying to uh, you know, they would advertise free online stores and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, sometimes, uh, I don't know, sometimes, I don't exactly know what year was it, maybe to even 2005, I don't know. Since, I don't know what year was it, but I remember the people. They would go, they sell, today you can see them all over the internet. Uh, you can see them if you look for the slider for the store slider let's say for the blogger or something like that and it's not available stuff the free stuff anymore you have to go and you have to pay for every little thing you want to use extras and that's exactly what Donald Trump brainwashed them uh, that was the stuff supposedly would hurt me and it did hurt me paying out of my pocket uh, sitting at home trying to build this literally in a place where tortured, where place which did not even have a toilet uh, inside. 
insane conditions, insane conditions brought from Poland, these conditions back home to Slovenia were due to again repeated situation with employment more than up I was forced to continue the saga of job search uh, now more than job search uh, opportunity appeared for self-employment this self-employment was offered through the website and you know they advertised uh, how people would obtain certain funds from the state and as soon as I saw the ad about funds how you would attain this training uh, you would uh, get help from people from professional staff they would give you uh, support a European Union project otherwise it would give you uh, for the people who would like to become self-employed uh, on your project so that you would let's say this store here so that you would complete that you would do that kind of stuff you would get a tax advice all kinds of stuff like this uh, I guess European Union did have some money to throw away I would not forget Prince Andrew who insisted me on the MK Ultra on not how it would be enough to go through the Poland alone but on how I would have to demonstrate literally uh, ability self-sufficiency uh, running my own business literally that kind of a stuff which not only myself but some people who have observed that kind of stuff uh, based on a logical assumption of a human being to whom employment was denied in this case for no less than 26 years it started with the u.s government literally prolengthening increasing systematically durations of unemployment into total permanent unemployment finally in 2009 tour to get the F out of the United States of America we don't want you anymore here it's a disgrace for our country to have you here and stuff like that all audio recorded stuff from my roommate who stole money from me all this stuff was a coincidence of course protected by the police for stealing and doing all kinds of stuff for the theft this is okay uh, even the devil was on a paper and so on it, it doesn't matter really because you can't you can't prove otherwise I was left with no choice other than to follow Joe Bezos Musk a multi-billionaires created by the US government which gestured me to just go about and write your own project your own book so you can somehow survive sell that stuff um, open your online store uh, and that's how I did find myself in this place with these words ringing in my mind people gesturing boy uh, if they're gonna push that far then where is the logic in all this they know that there is no logic in all this they know that the logic in all this is like uh, with a rubber gum this is just a lie that you would just stretch further and further until it would just plop, break apart basically I did find myself however at this place at this uh, Podbresnik incubator for people who would like to become self-employed knowing in advance the whole scenario how I am gonna be pushed away just as I was already taught prior to the project years ahead by the lady you're about to hear by her boss by other people from even other regions uh, that would participate in this program 
who insisted me if you would not uh, don't only place uh, application in this project uh, here in the city of the novel Mesto, but also in other areas because yeah well they always make look everything like conspiracy when it comes to MKL show they insisted me on how they would find out and once they would find out they would they would have a huge amount of people who would apply in the same uh, for the same project and the best would be selected uh, and they would not choose you and it would be they and this and that and then this girl alone tried to take some blame on herself he is completely excused uh, no way this is a very nice girl uh, she actually bargains trying to convince uh, the people who even believed here from Slovenia which even believed here in Slovenia uh, that what a coincidence this is that even this stuff would be too good for me that even obtaining self-employment would be too good anything that would give me s any form of, of income uh, it was just simply not desired I have no idea who hated me more uh, the reasons for me to start a company of my own were too many to count uh, upon return from Poland uh, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch used my family uh, pledged along other psychiatric stuff uh, people that involved pharmaceutical company here human resource from Kirka pharmaceutical and so on flash to support crime against me as oh, everything possible threatened under MK Ultra by both parents how they two are gonna depart inside of the home for elderly people at any time if I would even dare to open my mouth mention anything uh, that kind of stuff brought me along this forced unemployment along the applications I started to send out uh, just to be ignored uh, finally brought me to this place here this is this incubator uh, this is located in the city of the Novo Mesto it's about seven kilometers distant from the house where I am uh, from 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 the residence here in Novo Mesto from home and you would not find one no matter what you would do this is hidden uh, right next to the forest like this it, it came to me familiar as soon as I would approach one though that it did that it really did what's interesting is that's what's 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 making it so uh, difficult to see this thing is you know actually see this from the road but you see this here no this is not this is here engineering and stuff like this no 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 this is just like apartment buildings you know this 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 these are like like apartments you see the google maps is dead you can see i don't know what's going on here in uh, novo mesto you know, well not only here but it, it, it's uh, the google maps what's happening it's dead uh it's not functional here in this area I was brought since 95 they would bring me update me about the stuff that went on here about this stuff too uh, but this here these are apartment buildings they had built later on uh, and so that's what I would get an idea whenever I would pass through here I, I wouldn't really stop ever here I had no reason to come here really uh, and so I would just ignore this stuff uh, under MK Ultra interesting was I was brought to this place through the forest there is a plenty 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 paths uh, hiking trails right through this forest here nearby and that's how I was brought even of course even by the Polish people what else how could that possibly uh, not be the case I came here sometimes November 
last year, so in 2020, and as soon as I would come, the first thing I'm gonna tell you about MK Ultra proofs. Yeah, there are plenty, and uh, with some even involved this place called Murgla. That's really interesting. That's important because this is like an area in Ljubljana, in Slovenia. Uh, they call this almost like a, a, as an autonomous region in Slovenia, not like part of Slovenia, but something very special, aut autonomous. Uh, it's a lot of Slovenian uh, politicians in here who present themselves publicly as a leftist, but have nothing to do with the leftism. They have as much as to do with leftism as Vladimir Putin, who wants to become a Tsar, has. Uh, have. Uh, there is no there is no leftism. They are only hiding themselves behind the red star, if you ask me. There is nothing red, there is nothing leftist about these people. These are people that handshake with the Chetnik movement, with the white guards and so on. Doesn't matter. Just like Alexander Vucic stated, just so we could be again, again together. Again together Yugoslavia, that is, that was just something like Auschwitz. That was something like a concentration camp for six nations that were proven wrong by one nation, by the biggest nation in this union. That's a Serbian nation. That's all there is. There is no science to it. And so the people like this lobbied for that project again. That was a project for them. I would be looking for the job. I would be looking to self-employed to survive. The stuff they designed against me, they were looking for a much bigger project, for the project that was failed, for the project that ended up in a Balkan war, biggest Balkan war in the recent years after the World War II. Uh, a bloodbath, a Balkan bloodbath, uh, but they would want to assemble one back again. That's what they begging for. Now it's like this. Let's go to the audio recording, which I already have created. And what I'm going to do, I am simply going to go and uh, have this thing translated for you. If I was to measure this, uh, you know, a distance from the home. So let's do it like this from the house in Novo Mesto. Uh, the distance would amount to something like this seven and a half kilometer, eight kilometer. Um, is this like what is this here? 6.6, 6, seven kilometer on average. So that you would go. But really, this was like such a hidden place that. I stumbled upon. Uh, I answered this, and then I came, and boy, it was interesting. Uh, as soon as I come, as soon as I approach to this building through the forest, for the first time, I approached this building. Wonderful. From this side here, this is how I came here, right through here I come. Uh, that was a good one, that was a lucky thing for me. Actually that day, yeah, it, it was not. It, I did come, but I did. I came through here. Literally, I did not go through. I did not come through the. No, I did not come. I think through the forest. I did not because I did go to this area here, right here in the side of the building here. That's front side of this building here in the back of the building. Actually, front side of the building, not here, here, here. And I notice. A very, very, very familiar lady who also was involved in MKUltra, and she was a teacher of English. She opened her own school. Recognizing her, I started to walk back and forth and think about 
Oh, MK Ultra. Recognizing the school, seeing this, 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 this. Before I went inside, it was already, uh, it, it sounded very familiar. I had few resumes with me yeah, since I was on my way here, and I just deal those resumes, whatever I deemed that it would be chance for me to get an employment since I was applying, and I so I tried. This building, I have to tell you, was totally, 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 totally renovated. Completely, completely, completely renovated. This building looked like new. It looked like the one was built like almost yesterday. It, 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 it was like, not I'm going to say yesterday, but you don't understand. This building was renovated completely on the outside and also on the inside so that it would look like a completely, completely new building. Uh, difficulties for you to realize that this building is not new, existed. If you would not know that uh, this building was renovated, you would make an assumption that this is maybe just a few years old building. They installed an elevator inside of one, uh, and not like something like on a side, some kind of sloppy job like that. Not even sloppy, it doesn't have to be sloppy, but inside of the building, uh, quite sophisticated job. So if you would not, I mean, if you wouldn't be in my situation concerning MK Ultra, you would have a difficulty. Difficulty you would have knowing about pointing out about the age of this building. You would have a problem with it. In a little bit, I will explain why. Okay, I'm gonna accelerate this thing a little bit. Okay, this is really, really uh, interesting one. I am I'm not going to pay much attention to this because I don't have a time. I also not going to take your time. Lady does not give any kind of whatever. Um, she doesn't give much, but I did help myself. That's something I helped myself, luckily. Uh, on every gesture and every anything I signal, I would be of use uh, in her school. Uh, I could practice English with her students and so on. But I do have a good social, I have a great social skills. I have skills involving, great skills involving human interaction, great social skills. Uh, she would just answer to me with, uh, that's like really specific, okay? I didn't take that personally, but listen to this. Okay, this is so beautiful, this stuff, this is so beautiful. Um, in Slovenian, if you say, um, I, I wouldn't dare this uh, in, in English either, is I, would mean no. And she does this <laughs> through every credential I claim. Uh, she goes, she resorts to this. Uh -uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you're gonna play with this at the end of this uh, audio if you like 
if you want to listen to this Slovenian, eh, eh, but she did probably, I don't know, 100 times to me that uh, should this uh, idea of mine on how I am going to apply for employment in her, at her school. Uh, it, it wasn't really promising, but, okay, uh, she does have a school for the preschool children and adults and whatever, nice. Uh, she told me, however, we only need three teachers and we already have five. So that was a clear no. Okay, she goes. If somebody comes to you and says, mm -mm, what would you think? Okay, she does this so many times. I'm not going to count. Uh, What a way, hey, uh, applying and applying for the job. She was involved in MK Ultra. She totally knew about my situation. Uh, and there you go. Right next to her, they have this in the back of what you see here. Uh, something similar to what you see here up front. Uh, there are, there's a group of people, they have like a computer lab, and they work on the project inside. They rent from this project, from this Podjetniški Incubator Breznik, which, by the way, also has its website under MK Ultra. Vesna asked me to uh, present this, maybe uh, if you're interested in investing money in Slovenia, there is people work on projects. Yeah, they did, they are very, they are trying. Uh, they have won some kind of awards and stuff, and this is the website, and, and they do have this in English too. Now that's what that looks like. Here is basically what they offer, consulting, uh, mentoring, analysis, evaluation, and so on, help, subsidized workshop, education, educational business environments. Oh, they somehow get people going uh, if interested to participate in this uh, class, which, which is like four months you get paid, like a minimum wage pay, something like this to participate and even the opportunity to let's say finish your projects. I did, however, participate this project because 70% according to her, from what the numbers I counted, it's 80%, but okay, 70% it's financed by the European Union. And I say this, I did so, I say I did so because, let's see, this is a website, sorry I did miss that, uh, their address here, that's what it looks like. I did so because of these people here, I told you a little earlier about, uh, so evil that, you know, if you did read news about, I published today, today is May the 13th, 2021, if you didn't go and read about what kind of people do we have, this is this here. Uh, that insisted under MK Ultra that I should not get job of any kind. She insisted that I should get 
at least the pro to uh, the right to work on a project like this because it's financed from the European Union, so it doesn't cost Slovenian state anything. Um, this is sure that these people hate my guts. They hated my guts. They hate my guts. Here is all I had to say about this stuff. If you have not read this, read. This is this here. This is this is this this place here. Murgla. And she's gonna hate me today for what I did. She's gonna hate me for what I stated here. Um But this here, this is just the plain facts. And I'm very, very sorry that what became her husband he used to work at this place here. You know, this is called Industriska Zona Vich, Ljubljana. And they call one Murgle too, because of this settlement here, which I mentioned to you a little earlier. This, when I was brought inside of the mental hospital and institutionalized, is the first where I was taken to, to these people here, right? To this Murgle. Every time they would take me to the Murgle and it would start to Murgle uh, with a brainwash, with, with this kind of stuff. That's where my mama, my papa, they would go, they, they would go my father felt already so empowered uh, under MK Ultra that he literally would go and start to threaten with institu institutionalizing to my relatives, to my aunt and so on, start to pretend idiotic. Uh, he felt so empowered next to Milan Kuchan that he started to believe is God. Seeing what they were doing with me, he believed that he was God. No, this shit is true. This is real. So you know what my opinion about these people is. Today I did try to contact, uh, do a little MK Ultra on this location here, but a postal office was very very much not excited they told me in case if you would not uh you know if you would not if you would not if you would not uh if it would not be in line and this and that and tra 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 here this used to be mercur here um they upgraded this building here before they sold both of these. People that I would talk to just, I'm going to say with exception of Euraton, and I was wrong. And then they have proven me even more wrong with some misinformation, not giving me the answer I was looking for, pretending kind of awkward. Um, I would not I would not get exactly what I wanted what I bargained there is information hiding in here uh, that's a pharmaceutical company here medical company here um, that I was looking forward to that I would get in touch now there is no number you're supposed to go either to them or to this here and this and that uh, finally Mercur and so on I had enough uh, I, I don't want this. It's just as simple as this. This I read just now is artificial stream. It was one of the first projects that was completed. This building here that you see here, this was upgraded. This was extended in the back, enlarged and uh, upgraded what you see here. Um, they had offices here, but this served like um, 
it became like a little manufacturing. Uh, it, it, it's uh, this this medical company started with a small, and then they started they they expanded even into I'm not gonna say production, but probably packaging something like that. God knows. Uh, there were other companies over the course of the years here, and so on. This is just going to be saved for the time when I eventually, if ever, will come here and visit. But I don't need, I don't feel the urge, I don't feel the need uh, for me to actually do stuff here. Because, how can I say, because of this thing here. I mean, it does very little for me this year. Spiritually, this is not what I'm looking for. He does very little good to me, this. And spiritually and otherwise. Otherwise, probably even more than spiritually. Okay, this I'm going to play to you again. I go back here to the lady with the English school from this uh, computer room ne uh, next to her door and I talk to her again because I want to know about the building. I want to know about the building. Okay, bingo. Uh, I already asked her about the building, if the building was already built sometimes in 2003. That's like a total bingo. Thanks God it is that. Uh, all through, uh, at the entrance, as I go, I do something fantastic. At the entrance, as I go, there is nothing about this. It says, and I did took a photo of that. I did. I did took a photo of it. I'm not going to look forward. Nothing from that photo would be evident that it would reveal that it was uh, renovated or something like that. But it doesn't matter. Before I even go inside of the building, there is a sign at the entrance of the building. It says the name of the company and year. And the year says 2009. No. It's been, it, this building is way older uh, and this building was simply renovated. It was not built in 2009 but it was renovated. So 2003, yes, very good. Continue. Okay. Uh, she says she doesn't know but I want this. She says possibly in 2003, yeah. And before I even say how long she is uh, a tenant here, she tells me in 2003, uh, she's, uh, she's, uh, since 2015, she says. That's six years. Okay, uh, it's a trouble. I was at her previous location. Um, it's a trouble, she says to me in 2005, she had me already at this location, definitely she had me here already in like 2000 and probably even 2010. If not in 2010, 100% in 2012, 2013, as soon as I was institutionalized inside a psychiatric hospital on how they are preparing in the back this, um, uh, and she's going to move to a new location. 
Oh, this is stuff I should ask her more questions about maybe next time or something like that. Uh, and so she was excited about, she was involved, this lady was involved in MK Ultra already. Whoa. Now you're talking about, again, another person who was involved probably in MK Ultra another 20 years already, 20 years back in time. Uh, she, t she tells me, uh, however, she tells me, no, I am here since, two, uh, she, she doesn't, I don't, I don't even get to say anything. I was, sh I was going to ask her, uh, it, you know, whether she was here at this place, like for the last 10 years, to be honest, I was going to go for 10 years. She tells me, uh, she tells me since 2005. Okay. So it's okay. I pointed out the building was already in 2003 here. Also, it looks like completely new. And it's actually, uh, at that point in time, it already has a lot to do with her. That I figure out the building was already there. That, that this was already, this is older. It's older than 2003, this building. But I was afraid to say anything about this stuff. And so I said, uh, 2003. The thing about this building is they did not know what to do with it because it was in a such a location that they could not get people. Uh, whatever was inside in there did not do well. Uh, they couldn't get people in there. They didn't know what to do with it. They already contemplated on taking even the building down. And so instead they did go and they modernized one. There was some kind of production, something um, I don't know what it was. It was one of this uh, oldest uh, here in, in Novo Mesto. I don't, I'm not sure what exactly they were doing. And so um, let's continue with this. This is uh, these are just the excerpts from original audio recordings which I took over the time. As many times as, as I went, uh, audio recording and whatever I did was important for me to give you. I'm giving you. Uh, my statements are absolutely factual. For the most part, I did play you stuff so that you were able to see in most of the cases that nothing was manipulated that I would go out that I would ask something someone something nothing nothing like that when I say factual trust me everything is audio recorded by other people too the people who are involved in MK Ultra they go as far as communicating with one another just as they promised they would for instance here not too far from here was a situation with two people involved in MK Ultra that would gesture me, one would gesture me based on how you are going to perform at the person next door. If I see that you have brain, that you remember very well things, you're going to get to meet me. Otherwise, you're not going to even get to meet me. And make no mistake, as soon as I did interview with him, uh, the other person would meet me, would step out and meet me that's how coordinated this stuff is they trace every millimeter of where i go what i do <laughs> you bet of what i say no i wouldn't say something i wouldn't make a single claim to you if it wasn't 100 percent legit Okay, the fifth years. I'm shocked. I was sure that she was ten years there already. She had a private school. I have her whole life history about her. I can give. I am gonna do this whenever I meet her in person. Whatever, if I do. Okay, so I proceed. I get at the entrance, therefore I get, I'm going to remove myself, just so that we can get here, so that I give you, this is entrance here, uh, here is what it looks like, the entrance, uh, nice door, everything, really it looked like new, 
uh, this whole thing uh, entrance beautiful uh, that's what I come and that's here just at the entrance this is what exactly new elevators new everything inside everything new if you were not you would not have idea this is very good very good stuff very good Okay, Begrad. Begrad is a company. That's construction company. Uh, 2009, it says. No, 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 no. I go inside, man. Totally new elevators, everything new. Uh, but this is more than 12 years old building. This is more. This was 2020. This is more than 11 years old. I know so. 2003 was good answer. All the answer was shitty. This is old building. This building. I don't know why it came to me in 2003, what exactly was 2003, but 2003, I don't know, I would have to go back and do it, I'm not going to be guessing anything, thinking about this is a little bit too far, but I think this, this goes many, many, many years back. I just don't even know how far this, this stuff goes back, this, this, this stuff might go back as far as more than 25 years i don't know i need yet to go back smell it see it back and forth i remind myself what was there if i can remind myself they were updating me something with this with that stuff that uh, it was this company this was a big company uh, there's another building in there and they had all this thing and uh they 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 didn't work well i don't know what it was and they were thinking to revive this whatever and then they decided not to revive this and whatever they were keep bringing me back they had people that would take me from company to company and update me with the situation so i go inside and when i go inside uh, i meet this girl uh also involved in mk ultra yet another sweetheart just like english teacher that you have heard me talk to behind um another beautiful girl it was so many girls um, the two of them however both of them all these people the two of them however were also good friends with a third girl who i was gonna meet this day who also was yeah well uh, a beautiful girl involved in MK Ultra who also I don't know I, I don't know anymore I remember her mom uh, I remember her dad uh, I remember both I remember her place I remember a lot of stuff about her that I'm gonna ask her uh, before she moved with her husband and stuff like that uh, about uh, was she really uh, interested in me was she not interested in me um, I was a little crazy on that MK Ultra I did act it wrong um, I guess I wanted to prove wrong to the people who believe they can accomplish their right with the use of violence this is how i saw the mk ultra i'm gonna tell you here was a girl that under normal circumstances i would actually marry i am pretty positive that i would me. the thing about it is that they 
I saw these people next to these people standing just having something to do Vucic, Alexander Vucic who came here to Novo Mesto was the last day I wanted to have everything anything to do with them I turned into a hell toward a family that I know both girls from mom and dad co-workers from my father my mom since I was a child I was I, I became diabolical uh, to the degree I hurt mom's feelings deeply uh, because of what went on in Bosnia because of what went on in Serbia I, I didn't discern anymore I I was my mind was no longer clear and more than anything I was angry I was so angry about what went on it didn't even matter to me because the resentment I had was indifferent from the issue with the partisan statutes you would only bring me next to the location where there was a statue or something like this of the partisans and I would boy start to act like a German shepherd that was used to bark at uh, I don't know at the Roma people uh, the Jews and so on this is what Gestapo was and this is what they turned me into they turned me into the most hateful thing possible this was myself under MK Ultra. Her mom just happened to be a Serb. For me, in real life, this was an honor, a happiness to have her around. Her daughter is beautiful. I, I mean, I know her daughter was really, really beautiful. This is a beautiful woman. Under MK Ultra, I, I, I boy, I this this would go to f in hell no type of answers. This is what I am talking about, and I developed the attitude like this, that I started to target people based on their looks under MK Ultra. First, what was expected, demanded from me, then already I became an auto automated uh, self I, I was just programmed to just go and just automatically would go and start to insult people whatever you wouldn't even have to say anything this is the way this is the accomplishments of Vladimir Putin Vlad and Alexander the Great from Belgrade so the girl I meet here this is actually a beautiful girl a beautiful woman not girl this is a woman like a grown woman like uh, and she sees me she liked me always man and I see her I immediately know her yeah, I wouldn't forget her and the next thing I see another friend of Vesna uh, Tsovich <sighs> so I know that both of these girls were her friends basically this is so I, I don't get anything from her she says that she and she did she worked for various uh, projects he, she assisted the girl I'm, I'm about to talk to um, like self-employed uh, people uh, and so uh, what can I say she she just wishes me luck now I wish that I did apply earlier for this we would be together but this this girl surely has a family and and Vesna too and so on I just what I need you to do is I just need you to hear her voice basically Okay, uh, I'm happy that, that, that she was happy to see me. I was happy, definitely, to see you. This is very nice. Um, she
she uh, became a participant in this project, uh, on this incubator project for the young self-employed. Uh, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, a hard-working mom, she became whatever. The next thing I go from here, it's Vesna. Uh, let me see if I can even actually, what is this, 33 something, find you one of this, if I can get you uh, some kind of photo from her, because I did the whole, like, at the end, I'm going to play you this, but this is the girl here, that you see here, this is, this is the girl, uh, this is a very beautiful girl, uh, as I did recognize uh, her husband, I stated her uh, something about the husband that makes that made her think that uh, he's actually too good for her, but it wasn't meant like this. Um, she was laughing, uh, but this was the girl I was gonna meet, and she didn't say that yes, that the girl that I just met right there that you just heard me talk to who came downstairs, uh, who participated as a client at this uh, incubator program for self, future self-employed people, is her friend. But she acknowledges that she is her friend. So I know exactly, I, okay, I know exactly that the main guy is this guy here. This is all these people that you see here, all of these people, okay, not uh, all of them, but the ladies, the, this ladies played with me on that MK Ultra, boy, they drove me insane, quite a few of them, boy, of course that I remember all of you, but the main guy is this guy here, this is, this is the guy, this, this guy here, okay, this is Franci Bratkovic, this guy, and this, this was, this, this is the main guy, here. This guy, you're gonna hear her says, "Oh, we moved here in 2018." It's not true. This guy already was here in this place in 2010. They already gave him an office. This office was completely unofficially unofficial office. This is where it all started. Uh, this office still remains. It's unofficial. It's located on the side. Um, this is a state whatever office uh, this is a state basically uh, this office uh, would remain like some kind of undercover office uh, th before they launched this project uh, they got like for free like I would say like probably three years they tolerated them over there for free but I, I, I think that at least few years they were paying actually for it for uh, like unofficial rental, uh, for subsidizing that building, for for being inside in there unofficially, basically. They, they, they started, they were present inside of that building way before eventually they opened this here. You see this? Let me demonstrate you here. This. You see this? This is one thing, this kind of stuff, this, this. This kind of stuff, this is one thing. But, you know, let me demonstrate to you something. Okay, this is one thing. Now, all these classrooms, this, this stuff, this is one thing. This is the entrance. This is what the entrance looks like. Man, it's like completely new. Not even like you would make this in 2010 or something like that. But, just like this on the side, they had something like it was like wood, you know, doors. Uh, and you couldn't see anything inside in there uh, it's still the office like this that's where this bosses are inside uh and that kind of stuff she says 2018 that kind of stuff 100 percent was already since 2013 100 percent i tell you he dreamed about talked about something about money how this when this tra, 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 but they already had a little portion inside prior to the official uh, opening of this building. And this is where Vesna, this is where the other girl, and the other girl, and the Polish, uh, they too, they would know everything about where this, where am I gonna go, and this and that, and that's, man, 
that's the stuff related to this guy who already had a fair share of shit in my case this guy already cooked so much shit to me that boy I felt like I would drown one in a spoon of water I mean literally this guy caused me so much evil that with the final act of his and it was not final they believe they're gonna engineer my entire life upon a return to Slovenia I did recognize setups and identified people also on used cars website in Slovenia they try to set me up with not that people would even sell me bad car or something like that but the mechanic next door participated in selection of these vehicles and would even make agreements or with the people with a variety of owners that would list their cars on internet for sale to keep uh, spare parts bad parts parts that he would afterwards switch into uh, whatever car I would purchase he ruined me also Volkswagen Polo which I bought in Brezice which I bought in Brezice he did the same shit on that car is at one point the arm on a vehicle Polo it would collapse just as I would told the case is gonna be uh, the wheel the front wheel oh, that car costed more than 2,000 euros and uh, the car only had like I don't know 60 80,000 kilometers something like this this was from the first owner uh, he would go and did something here on the wheel so uh, this here uh, it, it, it would it would break and with the last resort I drove to mechanic who then installed me again a new parts inside that I purchased and so on and so forth this is simply full of shit business about which these people here know a lot about and it's something that appears to be very entertaining to them in respect to spine I will certainly quote Queen Elizabeth once you're gonna have your spine broken it will only take one time to hit you more with a car in case that will be necessary and then you're gonna be permanently disabled this is excuse me I'm not gonna even say what kind of family in my eyes okay once I uh, get passed through with a friend involved in MK Ultra for wow she this one was also another this one both of this English teacher and this girl the friend of the best not both were involved for at least like 20 years in MK Ultra case at least both of them uh, I actually get to Vesna I get up there uh, Vesna comes to meet me and uh, well we both get through the door we go in in one of the rooms like this uh, actually it was this room I think and uh, we start to discuss about the project itself during which uh, initially I already clarify she does not give me a confirmation of course uh, however that I did met her long time friends yeah these two were a long time friends with a girl that I have just spoken with um, downstairs at a hallway that I did spoke to her so this is Vesna now
No, I am talking to actually to this now. Uh, I'm gonna play this one more time as I ask her uh, important question. And I tell her something stupid because she was here before this stuff started, way before. She uh, started to smuggle herself around this building in and out and around and uh, like a cat with her friends and with other friends with the guys too uh, were already way before that uh, definitely in 2013 definitely in 2012 yeah way way before official opening of this building so i asked stupid question assuming that she's been here already for god knows how long i don't know uh, I say you have been here since uh, this open, and she happily say, "Yeah, sure, sure." She, she yeah, it, it felt like not a big deal, like right on the spot, man. Um, I remember her twenty years involved in MK Ultra. I was sure that this is it, uh, but. Okay, this babe, not exactly 20 years. I am not sure exactly how long, because this is younger. Uh, this is a beautiful young woman, younger woman, way younger woman. Uh, but when I think about, when I go over, um, yeah, 20 years is just about right, yep. Okay, maybe 18, something like that. Uh, I, I tell her about what it says below because the first thing I want to do I want to get a proof about the building where exactly I am at uh, and I tell her I think this building was like 25 years old already whatever uh, I, I'm all confused about this stuff because of uh, because they they brought me over and over and over again and they didn't know what to do with it I told you one time they were gonna close down this building then uh they started the production again it was actually even something that it was closed and then they started the production again it was this kind of stuff that went on uh i, I think and I, I need to actually speak to the people from you know from whatever company was here before something like that or somebody who would know who was who would spend all this time here that would know that he could tell me about the history of this place all right so there you have it somebody would actually know about the financing of the company whichever company was here that's what i need to talk to because it was about this issue that uh, closed one down and then they reopened again it was something like this and i need to know i need to find out if that was the case and i think this this comp this building is already here 25 years whatever Okay, uh, I talk about that it says uh, the name of the company, construction company. Uh, the construction company name is Begrad. That's the company, that's the name. Uh, this is a serious ass company, Begrad. Uh, actually, well, let me see something. Let me see something here. Yeah, it could be actually good for me even more than what I just no it's not gonna do me any good but they do they renovate buildings they do some serious stuff they obviously if you look at this building this is an excellent job they did um, with all this new technology from the West what could possibly go wrong I say so because they got this toys literally through this case I asked her about the sign at the entrance of the building. Uh, it says Begrat. Uh, I think right outside of wherever the sign is, it says Begrat 2009. And I want to make sure that this is older than 2009 building that I actually get verbal from her stating me this. 
Man, this stuff is done so in detail that uh, it's a winter time. Uh, it was probably, I don't know, the situation was it snowing or not, I have no idea, maybe not. Uh, that, that I was pretty damn sure that it's a great job that I did, the way I identified one. She says that she doesn't know, she doesn't know anything about it. She says uh, they, uh, that they came in year 2018, and I'm like completely shocked because I know that her boss, with office I stated they had on the side of the building, was definitely here since 2013, hundred um, percent. Officially, probably officially already they had this office, which was not officially open yet in 2015, but they definitely did the rent it. Now, how much this stuff was official, official, is, is officially open, that's another story. Yeah, you, you know, uh, stuff like this happens. She, when she says 2018, I don't believe her even a dime, a dime. I know that what she's saying is a fact. Um, let me put it this way. She would not go and say anything that would not be factual. Um, she's a state employee in a way. She actually even anticipated she would get me in a way that I would not have ability to identify her. Uh, that she just she just like wanted to do this stuff. It kind of reminded me of another girl here in the city that was involved in MK Ultra, and she got me at the doors of the companies where I would apply and then instead identify people and stuff like this. Man, I don't have the time and I don't have the financial sources to do this stuff like this. Now, I wouldn't say if you give me a job, if you give me stuff like this, that I would have employment. But that you would go out of your own pockets, out of your own time, drive around applying for the jobs, which you will never see, and go from door to door, identify this, uh, people and companies and stuff like this. To be honest with you, this looks to me like a bailout of the country that committed atrocity and because definitely Slovenia did this against me I managed to prove myself my case in Poland and in Czech Republic and so on uh, they finally would come forward and this forward would be by basically forcing me to apply endlessly for the jobs and instead I would get like interviews where I would have ability to identify people implicated in MK Ultra. That's bullshit. That's actually a Joseph Fritzel. You know Joseph Fritzel from Austria? In my eyes, that's a Joseph Fritzel. You institutionalize me, you ruin my life here in Slovenia. You even grasp what kind of stuff. And now you want me to identify you so you can recognize me and stuff like this and what? I set aside whatever was done to me, whatever you have going on here. Somebody who fought for independence of this country here. Somebody who was biting bullets here for this country, for these people. Uh, so, the one I was biting the bullets from would profit from within that doesn't work like this so that you would be actually in control of me and so on and so forth this is something i don't recognize as legitimate help this is where we are at i appreciate people because people in my eyes they didn't have choice it was a lot of people that paid hefty price for that none of the people should if you ask me it's the politicians that should pay the price instead of them and now I'm going to be the one who's going to be controlled, subjected to some kind of stuff like that, actually even threatened with another institution, in, in, being institu institutionalized if I'm not going to comply and so on. I don't think so. 
I'm 50 years old. I ain't got much loose, whatever is left of my health and so on. Um, I don't give a lot about this kind of stuff. I can't actually believe that something like this is, this is a rotten to the core. Okay, does have nothing to do, again, let's go back to this issue. It does have nothing to do with Vesna. Vesna is just, let's say, doing her job and actually hoping for the best, but I have to tell you that she told me if I would recognize anything anyways. She wanted me to give in anyhow about her husband or anything like this because she questioned me. She wanted to know everything I know about the husband, what this, about her, and so on. She would just say, oh, you saw that from the Facebook. I had not seen anything from anywhere. She said, if it's not going to be like this, uh, then uh, it's not going to be, and so on and so forth and did a portion of the conversation with someone on the phone raising this issue if it's if it wouldn't be according to their standards and expectations and this and that which she bitched me over and over during mk ultra then nothing and this and that da, 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 da. um yeah that's the kind of stuff well almost 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 um if i repeat to you i was very very clear with her here I told her uh, before this I mentioned her friend, and I need to get through. Uh, you see, I told here to her, I told her, when is this class going to start? Uh, I just spoke to your old friend, uh, old, old, old friend. And she just briefly says, yep. Yeah, this is actually, yeah. She should say, like, how do you know we're, that we are all friends with one another and so on? She doesn't. Here, where we were at, I pointed out that this building was way older than 2009 or whatever it states at the entrance. She tells me they were on other location before that. That I was not lucky with. Uh, I am going to admit. Uh, she asked me about if I knew where the other location was. I failed because it was so many other locations. Uh, this was not the only business location. It was before they were uh, inside of the city. Um, it's a lot of locations that changed hands. I was at a lot of occasions. How am I going to know for exactly what department where was where? I did not even know about this department when I left to USA. I did not know about this, about this department. So that I did wrong. But yeah, she was a mastermind behind all this. She was the one who was updating me all these years. But, you know. Uh, I tell her, I tell her here, uh, I tell her the two of you are foxes, you and your friends, uh, both of you are foxes, I tell her, the way you did this stuff, uh, because it was done in a such a way that even the year, you know, 
you possibly could not point out what year did they move inside of the building because they had me so many years. They had me seven, eight years. They had me eight years. Actually, no, sorry. They had me five years before the official opening. All the time, in and out, in and out, in and out. Interacting also with other businesses, other people inside of the building. That's how. And even future to become uh, a participants in this program. This is how this thing was so tricksy. And I tell her, you, you, you're foxy, including with your friend. And she's laughing. The way uh, I, I told her, the way you designed this stuff, obviously so that I would not identify you foxy way. She is laughing. Oh, I said so 2018, huh? Okay, wow. She actually admits me. She says, where, where do you remember us from? When I said, you and, your, and her friends, she said, so you knew, I said, from here. So I said to her, so you knew that uh that that this this is going that i will come here uh, obviously and she says yes ah this is better than what i thought it would be okay cool but to me it's very important about this old building oh this is very very important and she says yeah possibly yeah she says yes it was something like this whatever Okay, so we go apart. This is interesting. I come next time, I meet the guy, his name is Greg. <laughs> He is happy to see me though. Yeah, yeah. He's happy to see me. He's got another partner there. Uh, he works in this building, know him too. tells me he's from the city Kamnik, yeah, and that's exactly what he does. He does uh, inspection of this uh, entrance uh, into the building, in this, uh, the cards that you would use right here that you see that you would swipe electronic, uh, uh, what it would date your arrival, your departure. Uh, I have no idea whether they have everything electronically controlled uh, and probably close the door and uh, whatever. They have computerized this entrance uh, access to the building. Uh, yeah, this is very computerized modern building. Okay? Uh, the guy is from Kamnik. Where is Kamnik? Okay, this is what we're going to do is we're going to do this so that you get an idea where I am. Again, I have to do this to you. Thank you very much. This is the city of the novel master here that you know. The Kamnik, this is north of Ljubljana. Well, actually this is not such a big city, so... Aha, it is. It's here. Look at him. Kamnik. There you go. So this is very close to Austria. Um, this place is actually so close to Austria that when I would go mountaineering with Vinko, uh, I actually even contemplated, because of BS, he was putting in my head, uh, that I'm going to escape him across the border to Austria. I'll take drugged up. I even contemplated actually on a running across the border and 
if you would tell me, let's say, just giving you an idea about how drugged up that is, if you would say, you see that grass, the forest, at the, the grass ends forest, and that's Austria, and you probably, I would go for life, basically. Uh, crazy stuff. Uh, comic, yep. Uh, so, what can I tell you? One location was Kamnik, another one, another location. All right, since I'm doing this kind of stuff, so that I am going to give you some idea about that kind of stuff. The car, for those, for all of you that I was told that you're going to try to see yourself in me through this case, do not, because for me, this is not the same thing as it is for you and um, do not do not do that kind of stuff I simply despise crime like this I don't see myself in it you can but if you do I just want to let you know you see yourself in what I see as crime. I don't see myself in this scenario even a little bit, just for you to understand. The car I was interested uh, eventually ended, identified this and it's also the only kind of car I would buy uh, and because I don't have the money I will not even go and purchase this kind of stuff Actually, I am not going to even go uh, and explain any of that because I do have a proofs. Uh, but this car, this is not up to me for me to do. This car traced very close to Carl Nicole, so here, you know, uh, it, it past Pozella, uh, Moseria. Uh, and uh, it, it would go right here. It's called Resica Pri Savini. And thanks to this place, I I did go and I identified this high school here, uh, which was actually the one that profited more than any anything anything in this region in this place. What I can tell you this school here Rajica Savinia uh, what I can tell you about this is for one thing the internet is not working I am trying to put this stuff together because of what I because of the issue I stated to you vicinity of Austria here but you know it doesn't work the internet doesn't work today this is and this is another issue this is this is an issue separate okay but this is the school that i'm going to tell you was renovated sometimes in 96 it was the first money they got for the renovation they started with the roof stuff like that uh it was small and then over the course of the time as we would come the republic the slovenian state would pay more and more money to them because of this case and eventually uh, they got like a really really decent amount of money for the children uh, and it, it, it added a new portion of the building it actually became like really big thanks to that money maybe maybe half of the building that was added to the old building that's how huge it's it's a huge it's actually now a huge school um, the last that was renovated according to my memory was this uh, graveyard and so on and so forth man this is just uh, thanks to these cars and stuff like this that I did manage to identify a few of them 
and I probably could identify more but you know I told you thank you so much but I'm really unhappy I'm miserable because of the situation this does nothing for me if I go again back to this criminals here tell to every Slovenian if you see yourself in this stuff here if you see yourself as I was told it's gonna be collecting points on how many I'm gonna score how many I'm gonna identify based on that stuff that I'm gonna get paid think about what I said earlier about Prince Andrew and the spoon Okay. He is from the city Kamnik, therefore here. Again, that's close to Austria. Uh, another part of Slovenia. And now I'm going to close this down because this isn't doing me any good. Maybe maybe that's what maybe that's my fault. I'm going to put it like this. It's not only that I did told him that he's from the house uh, outside of the city. Uh, sometimes long ago he was. You know, that was the case. Uh, that was the case. He was He was from the house. He was, uh, let me see that. You know, okay, where is this comic now? Aha, uh -huh, okay, it's here. Okay. Uh, he was from the house he was from away from the comic away from the city this is a comic okay this is a comic here this was the case but he did sort the house and I am gonna actually even tell you everything how that was if I ever meet him again uh, it actually the only thing you can do is you can confirm everything I'll state here because it's a fact. Everything. Uh, no, he didn't tell me where his house was, old house, which, by the way, I think he sold in like 2003 so that he moved to Kamnik, to this place here, where I think actually he even moved to one apartment building and then into the second one, but I'm not absolutely certain about it. What I know, however, is the following of information I can give you about him. This is the latest place that looked like more or less uh, where I would say uh, he told me, if you want to know where I live, let's go upstairs. And he had wife is actually even a little like a blondish it's a beautiful girl blondie that i was envious of him and i started to screw him because of the wife because i deemed that i deserved his wife and not he um yeah this is the way i was he had a children this is like uh, kind of an italian looking guy he's like an italian looking guy i liked him and then uh, he got involved in this stuff, and then he was really, really, really boring. He became boring. Uh, he had a house and this and that, and uh, he was just boring, man. He was just not, there was nothing exciting about him. And under MK Ultra, it wasn't only people that were looking for excitement. I did too, because I, I was born as hell. I was bored. Um, his house used to look like this, something like this. It was like down like this, and he had a neighbor like that, something, maybe this is even his house or something like this. I have no idea. I am thinking that with it, accidentally, I have found actually his house. Um, this here would be the neighbor, let's say, and uh, it, it's actually what uh, his house would look like, something like this. A father was like a blondish guy. Uh, he is dark, a little darker complexion because of his mom. 
and I started to mess with him to the point that father started to mess with him too, whatever. Because there was no action out of him, he was just plain boring. And the girl he got, that was good looking too, so I, I don't know what happened. One thing led to another, before you know, it was a conflict. He started to tease me, play with me, uh, but he was the one who pulled the short one. We met probably sometimes already in God knows 1999 maybe, maybe even before that, I don't know. Uh, that's how he got the job, anyhow. Um, and that's what made him decide to move from here. Now, if I would go and zoom out of this Kalisha here, actually I'm not going to even do it because it's, it's, it's so beautiful here. Uh, as, as per location, it, it, it so appeals to me that this was actually his place. You see, Kamnik is here and Kalisha is right here. Uh, it so, so ap appears to me, and, and uh, he lied to me that he was here somewhere. Uh, and he came with another, um, he came with another conspiracy theory uh, that that he was here. So this, uh, no, 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 no. Let, let me just do one more. Um, Yeah, this Snowik, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this Terme, Terme Snowik, is this? Uh, let me see that. No, uh, no, 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 no. This was already well known, not this one. But this guy that, there's a guy that built his own. Uh, let me see. Terme Snowik, Apartmai, Concilia, House of Adventure, Slovenia. I don't know. I saw the other day, I, this is another MK Ultra I could do if I would go here. I should know over the course of the time there is somebody who started his own business here in this Novik. Um, and uh, I, we would go there oftentimes and um, again the people from the psychiatric hospital, they, when they would, they would go this mountain hiking they like this stuff um man this is what the guy created out of that i see this now yeah no this actually this is wow i see now yeah right this when we came this started out a small 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 house uh, uh then this house became a new house and uh it started with a rental, a room rental, he became wealthy from those tourists. Uh, it could be, I, I don't know, I have to see this. Uh, let me see this. This is another one, but this is not the one I mean. Definitely I know this. But this is not the main one, this is not the one I mean, so that probably what I am referring to probably would even be this here, which is like completely crazy, let me see that. Some other time I'm going to play with that stuff. Okay, so he is more than not likely from this here, from Kadisha. This could well be his home. I suspect that this is actually where he was from, he saw this. Again, let me remind you, not supposed to be anywhere in Europe between end of the 1995, December of 95, end of December of 1995, till mid of 2016, August of 2006. I think he sold his house in 2003. And I don't know what happened to his father either. With family, with new girl however he moved to Kamnik this here he told me that he did sold the house that he did move to the uh, Kamnik I don't know if he said that he bought apartment or not uh, yeah I think he did told me that but the stuff that I'm demonstrating you right now this goes way beyond anything he did not show me nothing about old house anything I just say about where the old house was 
what it looked like, um, nor about his apartment, what that would look like. And I think there was another apartment he was at when he first moved to Kamlik. Then he would move to this one, yeah? And uh, what I can tell you is, okay, if this is like uh, ground, then this would be like a first floor and then second floor. So this guy's on like on a second floor. And I think, uh, actually, I think on the other side of the building. So that's what I can do. Yup, that's the kind of stuff, that's why I'm deadly like this. That's what makes me deadly. Okay, so that's that. Le let me think if I'm going to think of something else. That's the guy. Um, this is a nice guy. He's got children. Happy family. He's a family guy. Oh, why did he move? Why did he move out of those montañas, mountains? Maybe because he realized that there could be another crazy person like myself. Maybe, and I think so, that he saw me in his neighbors everywhere, wherever he looked, that he saw another me. So he figured out because nobody would do anything to him. Come on. Uh, but it's people like this just, you know, freak out. It's mountains, it's snow, the Austria is quite near. Let's run, run for life. And I think that's exactly what your case was, my friend. A panic, anxiety. Uh, he sounded like a really cool guy, pro. He is, he's a nice guy. He, he's a really nice guy. Man, he came all the way from Kamnik to do this. And despite being myself an asshole, he did this. Uh, the guy he mentioned earlier, his name was Primoz. That's a, like a maintenance guy. That one have sworn a vendetta against me. And I was not anywhere as near as an asshole. But he was like, he was like, you know, I wouldn't even allow you to be asshole with me in that sense. He promised me a vendetta. And it's probably also why I did stay without a recording because he said, what I will do, however, when you will be identified that day, when you when you see him, I'm gonna make sure that you would not record. And yeah, you can actually hear me, I think, saying that I wasn't really happy with the recordings, in respect to recordings. Seldomly did I got in a situation like this that I would identify a person and walk away without a recording. Well, that day, I sure did. But that doesn't matter, does it? Because, you see, you have recordings, that's for one thing. You cannot say that I did not say that you had house and you definitely never showed me the old house or for that matter, location of the old house. As a matter of fact, not so much about this, but what exactly your house looked like, like on a slope, the neighbor, more or less what it looked like. That's the stuff that matters to me, the vision that kind of stuff that's what I go by and what your what I think already second apartment looks like so that's the kind of stuff that counts as far as I'm concerned so now what we do is we continue this guy he would drive me around uh, he wanted me he would this guy was just uh, he wanted me to identify also this park here. You know, this is where he worked. That's why he tells me. You know, he was like telling me basically go here and do the MTO truck here and tell all about this, how this came to light, you know, how this went over the course of the years. You know, that kind of stuff. That's what he would like. <laughs> Uh, I, before I even say that you're the one, the serviceman who does all this, this does the service, all this electronic, uh, 
he already cuts in front of me and says, no, 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 this is my first time or whatever, third time, whatever. Uh, I don't know who was coming here prior to myself. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Um, it talks about this technology park, tra la la. But I would not let go as easy either. What I do is, I'm like, you're the first time here in this, that, yeah. Okay, all this good, but you know what? You're not gonna say that you are not doing this stuff already in 2010. 2010, why 2010? Because I have to be honest with you, I had a very poor vision at that point in time. I had a very poor vision. I, it's not, it's not, it doesn't work like this. You have thousands of people involved in it and you're gonna know for everyone. No, this does, this does not work like this. This is a lot of stuff. Uh, in real life, you will have a difficulty, come on. Um, what I have in my mind is where he drove me with his car. I always found myself oftentimes in his car driving next to him and I was like, whatever, well, that's whatever, you drive me, drive, whatever. Uh, it was very nice guy, nice guy, patient, and I remember some kind of intersection, house, and the house that I asked him about, all through I was definitely positive that he had a house because of the father, you know, because of the dad, I know that he has a house, it's a little house. Um, man, I was like, and I did also describe father and I also described mother. So those are all the credits you're gonna give me. Now, don't forget about that stuff. And what the wife is like, light-skinned Slovenian, opposite from here. Like, a, uh, he's like like Italian, like dark complexion Italian guy, something like that. Um, basically, The house I had in my mind, it, it was it was on a different location. Uh, it, it, I knew that he was not in Kamnik when he sat in Kamnik, and I did that really well. Uh, unfortunately, that stuff is gone. Um, but I did point it out that he is doing this at least for 10 years, that he is doing this for 10 years. Listen. He said that he did not know nothing, that this is his third time here, this and that. I said to him, and I felt really good about this, I thought, I was thinking, yeah, 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 new, 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 this and that. I tell him, but you're doing this already for 10 years, I tell him, my friend. And he's a still younger looking guy. Uh, and he said, I'm doing this already for 20 years. Okay, so I did point it out that oh, 10 years, it's not bad. It's not a cat's cough. Uh, if you consider that he just stated that this is, you know, it sounded like he's new, basically. This is his, I don't know, uh, third time here, something like this. Uh, just recently that, that um, so that's that's something okay I give myself credit for that since 2001 okay I tell him I thought that I knew his name I don't his name is uh, not James Bond like I'm kidding I give him a weak handshake. I am really thankful to you, my friend. Uh, I want to say thank you very much. Uh, all the best to your wife, to your kids, and to you too. That was really nice. Hello, uh, Greg. Uh, what a surprise that somebody would come from so, so far away to actually meet me like this. <laughs> Okay, so again, I, I, I want to meet with the best now, right? Uh, 
Okay, this is really interesting. I got to play this for you. Ja tak lubię, że Okay, the final act of mine. Basically, what I can tell you is that uh, she completely rejected anything that that husband is not from here, that he's from Ljubljana, this and that, any kind of idea that I would know the husband. He was like almost panic. Poor little girl. Because if you identify husband, I mean, come on. What he looks like, then no matter what, I mean, and I did. I said to her, uh, she, when I tried, she had a phone call. Okay, so I waited for the phone call to end. And I said, look, Mrs. Vesna, your husband is about three, four centimeters taller than myself. Now, I'm going to tell you what exactly. I think he is 188 centimeters. 190, 188. He is about exactly that height. He is just built like myself, more or less. I did enter here Serbian guy. Serbian because the guy is Serbian. He was born in Slovenia. In Slovenia. He is uh, Slovenian, Serbian, uh, I don't know, mixed marriage, whatever it is. What I can tell you about this stuff here is, he is not like this, he's not like that, he's not like this, this, none, actually, none of this that you see here, none of this would be like, none of this, none of that. He actually even had a, like, this, like this guy here, like haircut, like this, clean, always clean, clean shaved, clean, 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 and this is why I liked him, because he was always clean, he was always, 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 always tip top. Uh, he was in a ties, and actually, from what I can remember him, he liked this kind of, like if it was a shirt like this, okay, this kind of, this kind of clothing, like this, maybe he had that, but otherwise he would have 
like a business shirt and like khaki pants that was his attire okay and yeah he tried eventually to open instead so he would be closer to his beautiful wife um, office right here in the novel Mesto right here inside of this building right here he was trying to open uh, the office and he did shortly he did in the same floor uh, that must have happened however in 2000 even in 2010 what kind of a business is he doing the same kind of business like this company here Begra. okay this is his business this specialty is construction this this guy is actually either architect or uh, Gradben engineer uh, what exactly would that be Gradben engineer engineer of construction something in that sense if translated and yep this is where we go back to this place here that I mentioned to you earlier this place here for which I was actually even told that this was like third store something like this of what they claim is a 125 year old Slovenian company, Mercur. Um, I don't know, 130 whatever years old. Uh, and uh, this was like a third store of them and it was very difficult to sell this. This is always nicely painted like that beautiful yellow. Um, the first thing they would sell was this building here this they had offers all the time going on and they didn't know what to do with it uh, they were always in between one time I think they didn't even know if they are gonna stay or something like this I don't know they were reducing shrinking the buildings I don't know what it was or they did change this for more for better location whatever they did got rid of first this building once they saw that building they still kept office in there for some time this is what that was from Mercur they had offices in here and finally they sold also this building so this is the company that used to be here Mercur now he used to work I think during his years when he was still at the university a college guy something like that I think that he operated a forklifter here unless I mistaken him with someone else you know I was trying to verify this I might actually I might actually come even here talk to these guys um, I, I don't like idea I am actually really angry about this here this is what angered me tremendously uh, being brought here uh, told that this is the kind of stuff that still keeps me alive when institutionalized inside of this mental hospital here uh, when in reality when in fact it was a Serbian government in Belgrade that needed me to go down so that they got more business people they could lure them there more investments and stuff like this simply pisses me off that that was the kind of form of help fuck that excuse me mr kuchan you're a little bit too much with your power uh as far as i'm concerned you went beyond everything possible in a few short words and that's basically all i have to say about this here it does concern jobs i did waste the time um it did happen exactly as i was told the case is going to be i told her he was looking too good and she said yeah too good for me uh vesna said and she is laughing uh, the one who liked Vesna was American psychologist. That was the one who liked her. Uh, I think 
Vesna used to live with mom and dad and, so, and the sister, I think she had a sister, inside of the apartment building in Novo Mesto. Uh, and she was laughing when I said that, uh, too, uh, she says, too much good, too, too much good looking for me, right? Ha, 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 ha. Uh, and I said, no, 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 not for you. I said, for me, for me. I was the one. I failed. I uh, I failed on a multiple level, actually, in in respect to this thing. Yeah. I became also like a frog. Uh, the whole thing was just uh, not exactly the best thing. This is a wonderful husband. It's a really good husband. It's a great couple that were happy with the family together. No, that's a good story. <laughs> she is laughing, giggling, giggling, yeah. Goodbye, thank you. So I identified him to, I don't know for a fact about whether he was the one who operated during his school years, uh, that if he worked in, in the warehouse, if this is how he helped his income on that, I'm not sure. But if I would get talk to him a little more about then I would pull more stuff about but anyhow so that was it but pretty much this is the size of the building it was a big ass warehouse okay this is when I exit out uh, he was I still talk about her husband uh, bigger I think than this Eurotone this is just when I come home at the original recordings yeah I do have a tendency like that uh, I don't stop recorder if I have to identify someone something just so I prove the point that I did not get uh, proofs from anybody from anywhere I have a tendency to walk with the recorder recording all the way home sit in front of the computer and within that the recording so that there will be no one out there that could say that this is a fake, false, lie, something like that. Still go about and identify that person, location. I did stuff like this already. Just so that nobody would say that I get from somewhere else or whatever it is or whatever. Everything here is authentic. Everything. For everything I state, I have actually the proofs. Okay, so my said this, I think I did a good job anyways. Today is still May the 13th, 2021. I was really looking forward to get rid of this one. No, I was not aware that this opportunity, this contract, it did not go through. Uh, I should have listened and placed application also elsewhere. Um, did I play to you or have I not? I don't know. You're gonna hear on recording also if you speak Slovenian language. My asking her about what exactly cost it, what exactly the cost was of um, how much it cost uh, for the participant. I think I did state it to you, yeah, because this is how I finally decided to even give the application out. This is how much I was insulted with Slovenian state. Yeah, Slovenian doing this kind of stuff uh, is just actually worsening the situation. This is not a good situation. This is not this is not a game. Uh, to the people I would say you were pulled for your nose. They pulled you for your nose. They play you. Uh, they're not up to any good with this stuff. It's okay. I did collect it. For the most part, I did collect it proofs. Uh, in some instances, I actually, I am, I am, in a way, I am grateful to certain people, also from the state, that they made this proofs possible to me, because I guess that it should precede something like this uh, a formal apology to the individual for the stuff done to one 
but in this case then that's what I would like people Slovenian people to concentrate on to I was not the only person that was injured it was many of you that got injured and the most that suffered in this case was idea about our country our state our nation that was injured that idea about the independent Slovenian state was harmed more than anything that was the attempt to deprive you even of your claim the right to exist was exercised against you it wasn't myself only it was people that got poisoned killed along the way and so that's the stuff concerning you you should pay attention to because you helped many of you helped you helped you came along you helped so many people participated so many of you feared you helped uh, but you know it's the stuff that's worth fighting for beyond money the money that gets into the wrong hands that's the worst money in the world the money that gets in the hands of the enemy is the one that's going to terminate you all that's why I keep it this way and that's why I tend to keep it this way I will not allow to go any wrong way Francis Butcher Dr. Francis Butcher once stated something about the money that it was the European Union that was going to give to uh, Yugoslavia and they were going to just give some kind of cash like this he rejected one he said we don't need it's dangerous let that kind of attitude stay with you too with us with this nation let be the form the motto the number one engine of this country Slovenian fellowship that will hold us together and everything else sure enough it's gonna it's gonna come so that's all I wanted to say uh, today is May the 13th again 2021 I don't have anything else to say the only thing I'll do is now I'll play this entire audio this excerpts I gathered along the way but yeah it was a filthy it was a dirty play uh, it was the most severe attempts to undermine uh, not myself alone if that's not bad enough from abroad from London from the people that every normal person otherwise would count on with, un with forced unemployment with all kinds of issues uh, it definitely was that kind of stuff and of course the situation about unemployment I told you this kind of game playing with a human through unemployment through the force of employment this is this is very real this is how people get killed they get destroyed this is the number one killer and nobody dares to talk about it doesn't matter what country you go to the computer you heard the fan is what you hear the fan it's exactly what American psychologists if it was American God knows if they didn't get someone to hear from Slovenia some maniac from here the two stores sure enough the two stores were involved in this stuff it was the two stores that were involved in this the two stores uh, one in Berlin that would massacre my computers before and they also anticipate what they're going to do with the Fujitsu the Fujitsu was involved the computer that was sold the products that sold computer to me they already had exactly this kind of computer if not maybe even this but the model for sure because the Fujitsu used universal uh, this models they already had one inside of this room walking around tell me when I'm going to be recording the movies made me hear how the ventilation system is going to be falling apart falling apart and as the guy said finally it's going to stop it's going to be finito that's it and you're going to buy another and another and another and more money is going to go uh, Germans figure out I should just buy a tablet from China that will save me money I, you know it would save your money with uh, a broken spine walking around 
breaking your server spine, whatever it is. I don't know what the case is gonna be. They told me I should just go even to a library to complete these projects and stuff like this. It's a bunch of crazy shit that does really nobody any good. My mom and my dad know nothing. They don't see anybody walking inside of my room. Uh, however, this stuff is done during my absence. This, this stuff is done whenever I go for a walk. There are people here and it's when my parents are here, 100%. This is not even done whenever I go with the parents if I take them somewhere. They don't come here or maybe that's also possible. Look, one way or the other, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. What exactly would I do without United Nations? The Human Rights Organization, which the Human Rights Representative Gutierrez involved since 1995. 25 years in this case, or let's say Jesus Gebrehesus. Adanon Gebrehesus from World Health Organization branch of United Nations involved in this case for at least 23 years. What the fuck would I do without their help, without their assistance, man? Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.
Eu tenho que subir no outro com mil milhões de microcolha, que é uma coisa que eu tenho que fazer para a ideia, um produto, e eu tenho que fazer um milhão de zaketa, porque eu não podia ter isso, e não sei se eu 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 não sei da consumista que tem uma responsabilidade da partilha que é dela, que é o produto da poli. Eu acho que são três três mesantas que são vodem a partilha que é o que é o marketing faz ok. Em que é na rádio que temos que fazer. Eu acho que é uma coisa que não é assim. Tu deixam para lá que o tio sobe isso para o que é que é o marketing? Tio, para ele? Eu acho que é um pouco que é o 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 na tretji strani je zvojeno za centra, za zdrav poni in tam je tudi javni poziv za prijavo v ta projekt. Pa nima je tukaj kakšni formulari, za kakšni zazevnjač? Ne, to je vse zastavno. Torej, bo skinjo v kje večja danes ni? Ja, gospod bi želel zelo, pa jaz sem jo pravila tukaj, ki sem na zazevnji. Ja, prosim, da sem poslušal, če več vse je to znal. Zdaj če bomo potem to zaselo, zdaj, da sem se pogovarjal z vaso prijavico, staro prijavico, in je omenila, da končuje tukaj, da je tu njen zadnji mehec. Pravi, zdaj če bo pa zasel... Ja, mi je zasel tudi. Oni končajo 6. januarja, mi smo zadnji dan. Potem mi je vzamo en teden, maksimalno dva. Ne doposta. Razpozovanja, mi imamo tak slova, kaj smo svoje računalne, svoje maro, svoje mile, mile. Se računalne, kaj bomo razpetirali, kaj na nula, kaj se uredi, zbiramo okolje za mesečki. Tudi je zvedna skupina, ki se nekaj se ima nekaj januarja, Zdaj bomo najkasneji en teden, ker smo se pravi, najkasneji bomo rekla zadnji teden v januarju. Če mi pa, če mi pa ponemo razumljivo je, to pomeni, da imate za tako skupino te upremerne tečaje, ker je logično, glede na moje vprašanje, katero imam, da bi zahtevalo nekaj specifični, nekaj specifični pomoči. Ja, kaj je, imamo zobraževanje, mi imamo obvezne delavne funga okuse. Za vse enake? Določene so za vse enake, določene so različne, glede na same ideje, ki imajo poslane posebe, glede na svoje znanja in sposobnosti. In glede na to, vi potem vse enkrat razpetirate celo zadevo? Mi razpetiramo v tej meri, da spoštamo prostor, ve program je tak, ki je, zdajamo pa, imamo osamnajst obvezni posebini, ki se tičejo nekje razvoja poslovnega. In se ste pripravili tudi za to? V bistvu se ste pripravili za novo skupino, za ponovitev celega postopka. Celega postopka, s tem, da niso te skupine enake, v eni skupini več storitev, v eni skupini več produktov, v eni skupini rabijo več računalnih zadev, optimizacije, konstrukcije storitev, ne vem, v katerih ostali se tudi tudi ne vima tudi Marjene, na katerih pa mi pomagamo, v katerih ima več sredi. Pomagate samo, tako je narediti, vete, kar ga vidimo tako. Ne, 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 Ne vem, če pride ženska, ne vem, ko zdaj, ne vem. Da konsumist, ko bi te mora spolo tega, da pa tudi razpoj delo, ko je produkt, ko je poli, 
V zmyslu současných jsme zásah, ty, co uh, budeme se dělat, jak jsem vodná, marketing, pažete. Ne? Jo, jo. Tyhle nerádi jsou ty moc seznámy. Já si dala, že mám něco na dívku. Já. Co nejsme předlagem, že jsou vy spolu, že to máte tam? Tam pa palce snega ne bo. Kaj? Tam pa palce snega ne bo. Aha. Ja, sve to je. Pa bo se zmeli treba prije. Kaj se imate še tudi malo skazal, da? Kaj smo kaj se ga ni, dol so se prele pred idri, ga je pa... O, tam pa sem se skupal. Je pa sneg tisem se. Znate, sam rediče se. Aha, aha. 
I would love to see this here that it says here Euroton and on the other side right across there is another one but pretty much this is the size of the building it was a big ass warehouse he was uh, bigger I think than this Euroton this is just Industrieski Center which um, that would be really interesting This stuff, this was recorded on uh, December the 2nd, 2020, so we're going to keep this one. Okay.